Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Nichols Gym, Greenfield High School. Tonight, a boys Hampshire League matchup. It's the Greenfield Greenway playing host to the Frontier Red Hawks. Jeff Terrell, Bobby C, studio producer on the other end of town, is Dave Reno. Great to have you with us tonight. The rematch of a game earlier this year back on January 10th down in South Deerfield, Good No Gymnasium. Greenfield got off to a great start, six to nothing, spurred by their freshman forward, Mav Ward. But then Donovan Hoffman got hot, Bobby. Frontier got the lead for good, even though Peter Carey got in foul trouble. Frontier wins it by 12, 53 to 41. They go for the season sweep of the series, and the Red Hawks go for a perfect record in the Franklin County League. They're seven and zero. They could finish up eight zero in league play with a win here tonight. Well, the bottom line is if you look at the way Frontier has been able to play this year, they've done a really nice job being able to have different guys step up every night. And the one thing that was really a really sad situation in that game down there at Goodnote Gymnasium is after Greenfield did start off so well, they went really cold from the field and they weren't able to get any shots to fall. And that's why they got beat by the dozen. But you know what? I look at this team and I've watched them throughout the whole season, Jeff. When they're on, Greenfield's on. When Greenfield's cold, they are literally cold. There really is no middle ground right now for the Green Wave. Yeah, they become a very beatable team. Now, Frontier, again, they, you know, they've had a, a couple of hiccups along the way. Uh, case in point, uh, recently, a game that we had here on Bear Country up in Buckland against the Mohawk Warriors, they were having a really tough time. No Peter Carey with the leg injury. More on Peter in a moment here. But they were having an awful lot of trouble with the upstart Mohawk Warriors. But again, relying on their depth. You know, when you talk about uh, Frontier basketball, obviously you're talking about guys, uh, obviously like Peter Carey, who won't be playing tonight, Donovan Hoffman. Those guys, Peter Carey didn't play, Donovan Hoffman was ice cold, Wachowicz was having a tough time, Brett Robinson had a cold shooting night, but enter guys like Sean Richter, who ended up getting player of the game. I mean, these are guys, especially when you get into the tournament, these are guys, if, if they can step up, if the defense takes other guys out of the offense, you need somebody to fill the void, and Frontier has good depth. And that's the thing, and that's also about being able to grow as a team as the season's gone on, Jeff. And if you look at what Frontier's been able to do and having different guys step up every night at a best time of year as we get ready for playoffs, this works out very well because now you're not just a one- or a two-dimensional team. Now you've got to stop four or five different guys, and that makes it a lot harder for you to be able to make um, those defensive stops that you need to make against teams that are doing better. Yep, ben Barshevsky runs a lot of guys out there. Greenfield has a much shorter situation on their bench. They run really the same six, seven guys out there night after night. They get a lot of minutes. The guys they have, they're very talented. Uh, but again, up and down season for the Green Wave. I mean, they go to Athol, they blew a big lead. They uh, ended up losing again the very next time out. They did get a win against Murdoch, the team that knocked them out of the postseason last year. So that was a good win for them. But uh, you know, hey, Bobby, it's getting very late in the season to still be trying to figure out what you are as a team. Usually you know that by the time February 1st comes around. It's February 13th and Greenfield still, in many ways, they're still trying to figure it out. They better figure it out before the postseason comes or they'll be a one and done. That's the problem. And the other thing is, too, is how important is this game for Greenfield? Well, let me tell you, folks, it's very important. And why is because if Greenfield ends up winning out, they win today, they beat Mohawk, and they beat Pioneer next week, now they got a good chance for a home game in the first round of the playoffs. If they get beat tonight, even with the two wins next week, there is no guarantee for a home game for GHS. You know who else? Uh, this is a big game for another team, too. You know what team that is? The Athol Red Raiders. They are big, big fans of the Frontier Red Hawks here tonight. No question about that. Athol, they're not going to make the tournament by virtue of a 500 record. Uh, when they lost to Frontier uh, earlier in the week, that negated their opportunity to get in as a, uh, as a 500 or better team. However, if you finish uh, in either a tie or outright second place in your division, you qualify for the postseason. They need Greenfield to lose tonight, and then the Raiders, if they win out, they will be in the postseason. And the funny thing is, is they play Mohawk and they also play Smith Academy. Winnable games. And I think they're both winnable for that team. Yeah. So really, this could be a situation where everyone thought Athol had no chance two weeks ago. Well, guess what? They're holding their own destiny if the Red Raiders end up winning those games. And if Frontier knocks off Greenfield tonight, they're in the tournament. 
Wow. And, and how about the Turner's Falls Thunder? Unbelievable, Jeff. You and I, beginning of the season, we were wondering what is going on with this team. Now you know what the question is? Who's going to be able to stop them? And if you look at their record as a first round game in the tournament, I would not want to play Turner's Falls Ooh. in the first round of this tournament that's going to be coming up. They have worked very, very hard, and I give a lot of credit to that cast of guys that have really started to put it together. Like you said, you got to know by the middle of February if you got it together. Well, I think right now Turner's Falls has figured that out, Jeff. On any basketball team, the point guard plays a critical role, as you know. Gary Mullins and Jay Levitanen, I mean, they really needed Marcus Sanders to have a big year. He's now back in the program. He took a little bit of a detour to the tech school, Amherst. Um, has some struggles, admittedly, comes back, and, you know, we weren't sure what we are going to get out of him. He has had one hell of a year, and he has really spurred this team in this big postseason rush here. You know what it's doing is it's giving him his role that he needs to be able to lead the point, and it leaves other guys available to do their job. Chase Novak can stay outside. You got Whiting that can stay outside. You got Peterson down low. You have the Driscolls who can be able to be all around. So really, he has been able to be the general that's given the other guys a chance to do their job as well. And right now, they figured it out. I'm very impressed with the Turner's Falls Thunder. It has been a great rush towards the postseason here in Franklin County, uh, boys and girls basketball. The girls situation is pretty clear. We pretty much know who is going to be in. Not too many bubble teams there, but on the boys' side, it is crazy. It's going to be a mad dash to get to the tournament. And, Bobby, here's the deal. I mean, it's a cliche, but it's so true. Once the tournament begins, if you've had a great year like Frontier, you're 0-0. Zero and zero. If you've had a subpar year like Athol, but you somehow sneak in, you're 0-0. Zero and zero. Everybody, it, It's a do-over. You start all over again. And if you can get on a winning streak then, you could win a sectional championship. Absolutely. And what's the goal of every school? We want to get to the Curry-Hicks cage. Every team wants to know that they can get to the semifinals to have a chance to play for a Western Mass Championship. And as we know, with all the relining that's going to be happening and how they're going to change the format, uh. Jeff, time is running out to be able to walk away with Western Mass Championships. Yep, the sectionals will soon be a thing of the past as they go to the statewide tournament. We could talk for probably <laughs> hours and hours about that. I know we could, uh, a oh, lot for of people, sure. A lot of people... Uh, not too thrilled about that whole scenario, but that'll be for another time. All right, we are a little less than 10 minutes away from the start of tonight's game. We'll take a timeout here on our pregame show. We'll come back, get you set for the start of this one. Frontier Greenfield, another big game in the Hampshire League. It's coming up next on Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Arista. Arista Networks pioneered software-driven cognitive cloud networking for large-scale data center and campuses. Arista.com Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. All right, we are just about set. Warm up finally completed, and we'll send it to the public address announcer here at Nichols Gymnasium. It is Kurt Richardson as we get set for Greenfield and Frontier. Our spectators are delighted that we are dealing with young athletes, not professionals, who are trying to be their best for each respective high school. We request that all cheer be supported. Let's make this contest a positive experience for all concerned. We would also like to remind you that the use of tobacco products on school premises is prohibited by state law. We would appreciate your cooperation in keeping the gym clean by using the trash receptacles located at the doors. At the conclusion of this contest, both teams will participate in the ceremonial handshake, demonstrating respect for their opponent. All fans must remain off the court and wait until the ceremony is completed and the game officials have exited. And now for your starting lineups. For the Red Hawks, 
Act guy number one, Ethan Mashal. Act forward, number four, Donovan Hoffman. Act guy number 11, Brett Robinson. At center, number 20, Holland Boudreau. At four. I don't have his number. 21, Owen Wachowicz. Thanks, Ben. The Red Hawks are coached by Ben Barhevsky, who assists Brendan McKenna and Josh Morris. And now for your Greenfield Greenway. At guard number 10, Henry Zorba. At guard number 3, David Karen. At forward number 12, Mal Ward. At forward number 5, Mesa Meadows. At forward number 22, Julius Brewington. The new way is coached by Mitchell Thomas, the assistants, Joey Bailetti, Dan Connolly, Eric Campbell, and Fred Bruce. Would you please rise for the play of our national anthem? Yeah, the situation is this with Peter Carey. A frontier. He's been out for two weeks now with that leg injury. He is seeing his specialist tomorrow. He's been practicing Bobby this week. Not playing tonight. Ideally, Ben Barshevsky, the head coach, he would like him to play in maybe one regular season game. After tonight, they have two games next week. One, one is against a two-win Southwick team. He would love to get his guy out there and just, you know, run the floor, get in the flow. You know, you don't want to have him in the postseason not having played in three weeks or more. Oh, absolutely not. As a matter of fact, he's going to be a big factor, too. I mean, you look at this guy. He's 6'10". This is a guy that you're going to need to be able to help your team get far during the playoff run. And if you can have him being able to get out there and be able to get some minutes and get some quality minutes, that'll be a great opportunity for them to have. And I think that Barashevsky's right. He's got to get him some minutes somewhere. Alrighty, I see Colin Boudreaux has a uniform uh, change. He's usually number 20. He's wearing number five tonight. He'll be jumping center against Mason Meadows. Greenfield in the home whites with green. Frontier in the visiting Navy with red. Our lead official is Jerry Burgess. Working with Greg Polano and Andy Rogers. Tip control by Greenfield. We're underway at Nichols Gymnasium. Julius Brewington has it deep on the right side. Right corner to Mavor. They dump it down low to Mason Meadows, power move, misses, too strong, weak, weak side of rebound taken down by Walkowitz. Donovan Hoffman brings it up into the front court, takes it to the left side, leaves it there for Ethan Michon. Goes to Colin Boudreaux, dumps it down low. It's Hoffman, goes up strong, partially blocked, nice defense there by Henry Zwart. Zwart has it right side, comes through, and a blocking foul called against Frontier, and it's going to be Ethan Michon getting that personal foul call. Nice job right there on the defensive end by the Wave to be able to block that shot and then a nice coast-to-coast -coast run by Zwart. And non-shooting foul, they throw it out deep to David Carey, right side to Zwart, they dump it down low to Brewington, tipped away partially by Colin Boudreaux, goes out of bounds, it'll stay with Greenfield. And who will throw in? It's gonna be Mav Ward, holding there, and it's poked away, nice job there by Wachowicz. Ends up in the hands of Robinson. Brett Robinson gets it over to Hoffman. Back to Robinson, top of the key. Guarded there by Carey. Man-to-man -man Greenfield defense. From the foul line, jumper by Boudreaux. Went for the bank, missed badly. Zwart pulls down the loose ball, gets it to Mav Ward. Ward brings it across to Zwart. Top of the key. Now he'll back it out. And Frontier. Kind of in a matchup zone D. Top of the key, Ward takes a deep jumper. That is no good. So we remain scoreless. Ethan Michon takes it across, takes it to the left wing. Stops there, picks up the dribble, bounce pass top of Peter Robinson, guarded by Carey. Right side it goes to Hoffman. Dumps it down low to Boudreaux, working. Nice dish to Wachowicz, banks it in from the right, right box. Yeah, that was a really nice job right there. Good ball movement by the Redhawks and Boudreaux with a nice assist. 
2-0 Frontier, a minute and a half in. Mason Meadows goes left baseline. Wraparound pass to Broynton. They miscommunicate, though. Broynton not ready for it. Off the hands of Robinson, out of bounds. Back to Greenfield. Good hands right there by David Carey. I'm telling you right now, that kid is all over the court, man. He is fast, David Carey. Yeah, he had a big effort. Our last Greenfield broadcast was that infamous Athol game where they blew a big early lead. But David Carey played phenomenally well there. Lots of threes, lots of tough defensive plays. He's a had, really good player. Had Greenfield won, he likely would have been the player of the game. Now a steal by Frontier. Wachowicz gets it to Hoffman. Donovan will jog it across the timeline left. Takes out on the wing, now backs it out. Dumps it down to Wachowicz. Goes over to Boudreaux deep in the left. The cutter, Wachowicz in the lane. Puts up the shot, no good, but a foul on Brewington. Trying to front him, unable to get his feet there. Yeah, Brew's having trouble. Well, he's very strong, but he doesn't have the most nimble feet. Wachowicz beat him to the spot. Owen will be shooting two off to our right. He's done a really nice job early in this one is Wachowicz. First free throw is good. He was one of the guys that was having a tough time against that Mohawk team. A lot of the Frontier starters just were not getting it done. The bench guys, though, were great. Wachowicz makes the second one as it kind of bounced around up there and fell through. 4 nothing Frontier. And now some passive backcourt pressure by the Hawks. War takes it across. And they get him with a travel. Nice defensive play there, actually, by Hoffman. Got in front of the guy that Zwart wanted to pass to. Yeah, that was a great job done by him. And also Mashan was right there, too. A nice little double team by the Red Hawks. Zwart out and replaced by Gibson. Sam Gibson in the Greenfield lineup. We're in number two. He's got the headband. Ethan Mashan deep on the left. Gets a top of key to Wachowicz. Right side to Hoffman. Donovan holds there. Passes back top of the key. It's Mashan. And the pass nearly stolen by Mav Ward. Shot clock down to 10. Boudreaux goes right baseline, saves it there. Robinson down low to Wachowicz off the glass. No good. Tipped around off the arm of Brewington, and Frontier will get it with a new shot clock. Yeah, you know, those are the ones you got to pull those bounds down. You got to just grab them. And it looks like they're trying to tip it around Greenfield instead of grabbing the bounds. The inbound it, they work it to the right wing. Three point bomb put up by Robinson, no good. Mashawn gets the rebound, back to Hoppin, they'll reset. Mashawn guarded by Gibson, gets it to Wachowicz, working on Brewington. Left side, three point bomb put up by Hoppin, it is no good. Rebound battled for, one by Wachowicz. Frontier dominant on the boards, oh, and takes it right in. Shot no good, another rebound by Hoppin. The cutter, Wachowicz, pull up jumper, bank shot, no good. Tip follow Boudreaux, no, and finally Mason Meadows. Clears a board for Greenfield. Wow, four opportunities for the Red Hawks to score. And they came up empty, Jeff. David Carey on the right, gets it to Gibson, up fakes, takes it to the foul line. Nice pass down low to Brewington, working on Wachowicz, went for the bank, no good. Battle for the rebound. And Meadows had it, couldn't get it over, and it ends up in the hands of Ethan Mashon. 4.24 to play here in the first quarter. It's 4 0 in favor of Frontier. Very low scoring start to the game. In the first matchup, a month ago, Greenfield scored six points right away. Not the case tonight. Mashan in the paint, throws up a floater. It is no good. Rebound taken down by Meadows. That led on the left to Carey. Greenfield looks to run. Frontier gets back defensively. Carey stops, pops for three. Nothing but nylon. Nice shot right there by David Carey. All of a sudden, where Frontier had a chance to capitalize on opportunities, it's only a one-point game. 4-3 Frontier halfway through the opening quarter. Hoffman will drive through the lane and got stripped on the way up. And Gibson comes up with there for Greenfield to Mason Meadows all the way through, lays it up and in. Ah, oh, nice job right there by Sam Gibson. Comes in the game, makes a big steal. The Green Wave is excellent in transition. They're not a bad half-court offensive team, but in transition, they're terrific. And a double dribble call against Ethan Mashan. And this game has, complexion has changed quite a bit here in the last 30 seconds or so. Nice job right there by Sam Gibson. Gibson and Brewington are out. Zward is back in, and Kenny Adams, kind of an unsung member of the team for Greenfield's in, and Sean Richter, who has had a big second half of the year. He was terrific up in Buckland as Frontier uh, escaped, I will say, with that victory. They ended up winning it by 12, but it was closer than that. Deep on the right side is Ward. Henry loops past right corner to Ward. Ward trying to get the Meadows down low. Tipped out of bounds off Colin Boudreaux. Greenfield will keep it 19 seconds on the shot clock. You know, they're gonna have trouble trying to get it down low. They got some big guys that are working hard down low. They're gonna have to shoot outside. Greenfield is. 
Carey's gonna take a deep jumper right side off the back of the rim, no good. Hoffman clears the board, Greenfield leading by one. Hoffman gets it left side. Gabe Jones Thompson also back in the lineup. Holds there, he's in big trouble. Nearly a five second call, Boudreaux, nice dish down low. Jones Thompson banks it home. Nice job right there. Colin Boudreaux's had a couple of really nice assists early for Frontier. 6-5 Red Hawks, three minutes to play here in the opening quarter, Mav Ward. Right side, the carry up fakes, goes right baseline, rejected down low, but a foul. They gonna get the body on, no, they ended up on the back end of that. And they ended up calling it on Frontier's uh, Spirits. Spirits gets it. And he just checked into the game, his first personal, second team foul, first free throw by David Carey is good. That ties the game at six. And he will get one more here. Carey, right-handed shooter, lets it fly. That one is no good, tipped around, and it comes down the frontier. Jones Thompson gets it over the left side to Donovan Hoffman. Hoffman, left of the lane. Looks to get it down low to Boudreaux, couldn't get it. Top of the key to Spirits. Spirits, Gabe Jones Thompson, left side, shot by Boudreaux, doesn't get the bounce. Offensive rebound, Boudreaux tried to tip it over to Jones Thompson. Back quickly comes Mason Meadows, and we got an offensive foul call on Meadows, drawn by the shortest guy on the court, yes. Ian Spirance. Yeah, and nice job right there. Honestly, Meadows, I don't think he saw him. He just ran him over. Well, when you go about 5'8", and you get in your, in your defensive <laughs> stance, a guy like Mason Meadows just can't see him. Nice little crossover dribble there by Spirance. That's what drew the oohs and the ahs from the crowd. Yep. Boudreaux, oh. well, he's made some nice passes, but that wasn't one of them as he no. threw it away as he was trying to get it down to uh, Gabe Jones-Thompson. Frontier's going to change up offensively here. 2-10 to play here in the opening quarter. We are tied at six. Deep on the left side is David Carey. Here comes Mav Ward on the left wing. Double team there. The freshman having some trouble. Rips it away from Spirance. Finally gets it to Adams. Adams right side's Ward. Wide open for three. Back rim no good. Deep rebound taken down by Richter. Richter all the way through. Goes by Carey. Nice drive. Puts it up and in. Wow, that was a really great job right there by Richter. Like you said, he has been hot over the last few games. Zwart. Offensive foul drawn once again by Spirance. He's done that two times in the last minute. Hey, the little guy's not afraid to give himself up here, Jeffrey. Frontier eight, Greenfield six, with a minute 40 to play here in the quarter. Again, we have a three-man officiating crew. We got Andy Rogers, we got Jerry Burgess, the veteran, and Greg Polano. Spirance, bounce pass right side to Richter. Sean holds there, Spirance, they get left side now to Hoffman. Donovan holding there, working on Mav Ward. Top of the key, up fake by Richter, comes in again on the drive, puts it up a little bit short. Battling for the rebound, they got him crashing through the lane, and they're gonna get Sean on the personal foul. Which was a good call, because he definitely did try to crash down, and he ended up getting over the back of the Greenfield defender. Coming down to one minute to play here in the quarter. And Frontier, it's batted down in the paint. They tried to feed it the lane. And here comes Spirance back for Frontier. Wraparound pass on the left wing. And Hoffman will come all the way in. Goes for the bank shot, it's up and good. Nice attack right there by Hoffman. He is deceptively fast. He doesn't look fast, but he actually can actually move without the basketball and with it. David Carey misses, going rebound, rejected. By Walkowitz down low, Spirance over to Richter, puts it up, yes and one! Wow, Frontier running really well right now and they're playing good basketball. Like the way the Red Hawks are playing right now. Yep, they're being very, very aggressive. Both and, ends too, Jeffrey, both ends. And Greenfield's going to call a timeout. We'll take the break, 45.9 seconds left to play here in the opening quarter, a 6-0 Frontier run. Red Hawks 12, Green Wave 6. On the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, this is Bear Country 95.3. Frontier, they've come to town and they have come to play. And Sean Richter now trying for a three point play here. I'm very impressed with right now the way Frontier is playing on both ends. Great defense down low, and right now they have been attacking the basket. Free throw is in the air and around the rim, no good. Brewington gets the board, gets it over to Meadows. Mavward hands to Zwart. 40 seconds left here in the quarter. We'll see if Greenfield can finish the quarter 
with something positive here. They've been playing well for a while. No, a steal by Spirits. One on two, lays it up and in. What a player. He's already taken two offensive fouls and he makes a bucket on a steal. Frontier by eight, 14 to six, nearly a steal. Greenfield having a lot of trouble with these very quick Frontier players. Kerry's gonna jack up a three, it is no good. It goes out of bounds, back to Frontier with 15 seconds left in the quarter. Gibbs it in for Zwart for Greenfield. You know, that was a good shot. It just came off the back iron a little heavy by David Carey. He had an open look. Seven seconds left in the quarter. Spirits deep on the left. Takes it in. Backs it out. Three seconds. Two. One. Right side. Richter for three at the buzzer. No good. End of the first quarter here at Nichols Gym. Greenfield High School on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. It's Frontier 14. Greenfield 6, second quarter action coming up next on Bear Country 95.3. Frontier 14, Greenfield 6 as we get set. For the start of the second quarter here, it will be Frontier Basketball leading by eight, being really speared by Sean Richter, but mostly by Ian Spirance, who is actually on the bench right now. Great minutes. He was able to come in from a Sean, and boy, he really made his presence known. Rashawn has it, center court circle, bounce pass right side to Robinson. Robinson, and a steal by Carey. Nice job of anticipating, comes in, lefty lane is good. Ah, oh, David Carey so fast. These are the kind of Beckets that Greenfield's gonna have to get. 14-8, Frontier now by six. Deep on the left side, Hoffman looking for some help. Up top it goes to Rashawn, Wachowicz Skip pass left side, left corner, three ball. Hoffman is too strong, no good. Brewington has it. Greenfield gets out on the break. Pass comes behind, and Gibson has it at the center court circle. Gibby passes over to Brewington. Brewington takes it to the line, to the lane, left side to Meadows. Meadows, nice post up move, goes in, misses, gets his own rebound. Hit on the way up, no good, goes out of bounds. It'll stay with Greenfield. Looks like they're going to get, oh, they're gonna get a foul call, yeah. Looks like Richter's going to yep. get called on that. That was Sean Richter, a little bit of shove. Yeah, he shoved Mav Ward. So 12 against 12. And Gibby will inbound on the baseline right. Batted out of bounds by Robinson. They were trying to get it to Ward in the quarter. And now once again, it will be Gibson to throw in out of a stack. They break it into Mason Meadows. Couldn't corral it. Loose ball on the floor. Mason got it over to Ward. So Greenfield averted disaster there. Carey between the circles, right side to Gibson. Gibson looks to pass, flings it down low. Nice dish and nice finish by Mason Meadows is on the scoring sheet. Yeah, that was a really nice entry pass right there. And all of a sudden, they need a timeout. Frontier. Red Hawks call the TO. 6.44 to play here in the first half on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. Frontier 14, Greenfield 10, Bear Country 95.3. You know, we got a couple of runs going on here, Jeff. All of a sudden, Greenfield on a 4-0 run here to kick off the second period. All of a sudden, things are really starting to get a little bit more quick in this game here. So even though the score is 14-10, there's been a lot of quickness going on in this game. Jake Kineski has checked into the Frontier lineup for his first minutes. Has it between the circles, right side pass to Robinson. Back to Hineski, foul line left, gets it over to Hoffman. Greenfield, and now another block and a steal by Carey. Takes it right in, lays it up, and no good. Just rimmed out on him. Greenfield could have got back to within a bucket. Instead, Frontier still leads by four. Robinson, long pass left side to Hoffman. Donovan comes all the way down. Brewington puts it up, no. Blocking foul called against Jay Brew. Yeah, that was, he was moving his feet. You can't move your feet, Jay Brew. And that's gonna be two on him. That's gonna get Kenny Adams off the bench. He'll check in for Brewington after this first free throw by Donovan Hoffman. It is on the way, it is good. One thing that's gonna to be tough here tonight, Jeff, is that they haven't been putting up the fouls for the players here tonight. So, keep an eye on this. Second freebie, back rim, no good. Wachowicz gets the offensive rebound, and Adams, who just checked in, he's gonna pick up a foul here as he Tried to reach in and poke it away from Owen Wachowicz. Yeah, but that just uh, that just caused them their six personal fouls. So all of a sudden, one more, they go into the bonus frontier for the rest of the half. He inbounds the ball to Hineski. Jake has it top of the key. Takes it left side, tipped out of bounds. It's going to stay with the Hawks. 
they gave it a kick, so it's a oh, fresh it's a kick. 30. Okay, yep. yeah, I got screened by yep. the official fresh, here. Fresh 30, bud, fresh 30. All right, so inbounding right in front of the scores table. Donovan Hoffman gets it right back. Left wing, they go to the foul line left to Walkowitz, over to Hoffman. Back to Walkowitz, through his legs. He recaptures, though. Owen drives through, misses there. Held ball on the rebound. The arrow will favor Greenfield. Nice job right there by Colin Boutreau, trying to get that offensive rebound. Hey, he ended up tying it up. That means that they get the ball next time, Frontier. Good work. Hawks lead by five. 5.50 to play here in the first half. Deep on the left side, Mason Meadows. It's up top of the key, Gibson. Swims all the way through, goes up strong with the left hand, a little bit too strong actually. Boutreau the rebound. Outlet pass on the left to Hineski. Jake takes it across, left side, Hoffman for three. Back rim no good, tipped around. Comes down to Kenny Adams. Gets it to Mav Ward, finds Gibson. Greenfield will set it up. Green Wave trails by five. They had a lead early on just by a point. And quickly lost that lead. Frontier has led by as many as eight. At 14 to six. Gibson, top of the key. Left to lane, comes all the way through. Lefty lane again, too strong. That's three missed uh, opportunities, but they're attacking the basket, which is a good thing, Jeff. Just need to somehow finish. Robinson on the wing, top of the key, Hineski in a high post. Robinson, right side, three ball, no good. Frontier's perimeter shooting, not there yet. No, they've gone cold. But they're capable, we know that. Hoffman, a lot of these guys. Carey's gonna take a three, right side, that is no good. Adams, the put back, no. Mason Meadows goes up strong, no good, but a foul called down low. Well, all of a sudden, Greenfield has been able to pick up some offensive rebounds here, Jeff. And that foul was on Colin Boudreau, uh, Frontier. That was the fifth team foul on the Hawks. Two freebies coming up now for Mason Meadows. First one is up, it is no good. Tonight's game brought to you by Mack and Fuel and Trucking, Charter NEX Films, and by the Greenfield Police Association. Both teams have gone really cold right now, shooting. Second one is good. Frontier by four, 15-11, 4.40 to play. The girls game on Tuesday night, very, very low scoring to begin. Yes, and then it really heated up. Deep on the right side is Robinson, right corner to Hoffman, down low to Boudreau, nice tip pass to Wachowicz. Beautiful play and Wachowicz hits in the paint. As a coach, you gotta love that because that was great ball movement right there. Boudreau, another assist. And a blocking foul called against Wachowicz as he was trying to seal the lane on the uh, right side against Mason Meadows, who can move really quickly for a big guy. That's the 16th foul now on Frontier. Carey will inbound right in front of the Frontier bench into Gibson. Gibson, top of the key. Works it left side to Mav Ward. Back to Gibby, top of the key. Goes to Kenny Adams, finds a little space, nice shuffle pass, Meadows gets his man in the air, but a nice rejection. By Boudreaux, Frontier on the break. Boudreaux gets it back from Hoffman, throws over his head, recaptured though by Hineski. And they'll set it up. Frontier leads by six. Boudreaux in the right corner. Working on Ward. Pass is stolen by Carey, he's at three of them. David Carey takes it right to the rack, puts it up. Yes, and a foul! That was a big play right there. David Carey has really done a great job on the defensive end. When he goes to the hole, he goes hard. Big opportunity for a three point play. The officials play. are talking. Are going to say that was on the floor? They had it? No. Oh. Yeah. They called on the floor, which means that that's only the 16th foul. Yeah. No shots. No shots. No shots. Wow. Oh, no, wait. I, yeah, no, they, that was their seventh. Oh, okay. All right, so they're talking to Angelo Thomas right now. They're so, saying that that foul was on the floor. So we're into the one and one. It's not a hoop and yep. a chance at a three point play. It's just yeah, a one a and minute. one. Wait a minute, no. He's calling two shots. What happened? That ball went the, in the hoop. The, the, They're calling for two shots. All right, I am very confused what happened here. First free throw is good. Uh, you're just, I'm so just as should, confused as you. So it should be one and one or right. else, you know? Right, okay. wow. They like took away a point opportunity for Greenfield. Second free throw is good. 17-13 Frontier, the foul hmm. down low on Boudreaux, but they're saying the, the shot was not good. Wow. All right, play resumes. Frontier by four, 340 to play in the quarter. Hineski in the right corner. Got to get it to Walkowitz, stolen by Gibson. Greenfield getting a lot of steals. Gibby's gonna take it in, feeds the lane through the legs 
of carry shot up by Mason Meadows, partially tipped out of bounds. And it's gonna go back to Frontier. They're gonna say it's off Gibson. You know, if you're Mason Meadows, you gotta make those shots. If you got the ball down low right underneath the basket, put it up. Yeah. I agree. 17-13, Frontier by four. 3.20 to play here in the half. Huge crowd here at Nichols Gym. Not exactly a full house, but pretty darn close. They try to get it down low, tipped away again by Greenfield. They are definitely Ding up. Here comes Kenny Adams, a little jump step, gets it left side, Gibson a rainbow three. No good, Mav Ward the rebound, no good. Greenfield a lot of misses in close. And boy, they have been able to dominate down low, picking up those extra bounds. They just can't make shots. Frontier continues to lead by four. Paneski. Into the right corner, it goes to Robinson on the wing. Back to Haneski, top of the key. Wachowicz, foul line right. Left corner, it goes to Hoffman. Donovan seals up. Foul line jumper by Wachowicz is good. Nice game right now by Owen Wachowicz. He they, has really done a nice job here tonight, Jeff. They are very unselfish, this Frontier team. That's a kick on Robinson. So new shot clock for Greenfield. Henry Zwart has sat for a while. David Carey. Again, he's in great shape, he's a terrific athlete, but even he needs a little bit of a break here. He's been everywhere. He sure has, and boy, what great minutes he's been able to give. And even Sammy Gibson, a couple of nice steals that he's already had here tonight. Greenfield with the ball trailing by six, 2.22 to play here in the first quarter. And a nearly packed Nichols Gym. Entry pass down low to Meadows, puts it up, got it, and a foul, and this will be a chance at a three-point play. Now that's an opportunity for the Green Wave to be able to cut this down to a one possession game here, Jeff, if Meadows can make this one. And I can see some more people have arrived since we came out on the air. This oh no, is, it's a packed house, This, man. Is, this is just nice. about packed. Free throw is no good. Boudreaux clears the board. Gets it over to Ian Spirits, who was tremendous when he got into the game in that first quarter. Ian has it. Now pass right side to Hoffman. Back to Spirits. Ian holds there, looking for the cutter down low. Takes it, oh, a nice dish down low. And Jones Thompson banks it home for the right block. Like you said, good ball movement by the Red Hawks throughout the night here tonight. That was exceptional. Hawks lead by six, 21 to 15. Kenny Adams gives up the foul line jumper. Turns, puts up a shot without leaving the floor. Tip follow by Meadows, no. Loose ball on the floor, picked up by Zward. Left side, Gibson going baseline, gets it down low. Meadows, yes, and a foul. Ah, oh, and that one was one that Boudreaux missed. He missed his assignment on that one. And there you go, another opportunity for a three-point play for the Green Wave. Ethan Michon in for Frontier. Spirits will take a seat on the bench. Say what you want about Mason Meadows. He's out to play tonight. Now, what's happened? They didn't put up the bucket yet. They, 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 it should be 21, it says 21-18. Bobby, do a quick tabulation. 18. It is 18. They're down three. Okay. Yep. 21-18, right. a minute 30 to play here. Robinson, Jones Thompson found himself open for a foul line jumper, missed it. Got his own rebound. Angelo Thomas really frustrated the wave didn't corral that. Robinson, left side three, back rim no. Gibson the rebound, accelerates into the front court, drives the lane, alley-oop, no good. Tried to hook up. Rebound by Zwart, put it up no good. And a whistle and a foul. And we're going the other way, foul on Greenfield. They do not want him to do the alley-oops. Angelo just went, no. Just pay, make the pass for the easy deuce. And shooting one and one on the other end of the court. That was the ninth team foul on Greenfield, by the way. So one and one for Gabe Jones-Thompson. David Carey is back in. Keddy Adams will take a seat on the bench for the wave. Jones Thompson takes a deep breath, gets the ball, puts up the front of the 101, rims out no good. Boudreaux had the rebound, poked away from behind though by Mav Ward. Swart into the front court right. Minute left to play here in the half. Greenfield trails by three. Gibson between the circles, jump pass left side to carry. Fakes the three, comes up. Right side to Gibson. Gibson over to the Zwart. Wide open three ball by Carey is no good. Good ball movement by the wave. Good open look. Yep, that was definitely the take right there. That's the shot that they wanted. Just didn't drop. Michonne has it, center court circle. On the right is Hoffman. 35 on the game clock, 18 to shoot. Hoffman, right corner. Back to Michonne out deep. Takes it to the line. It's kicked. 
No kick called, no steal. Here comes David Carey, drives all the way through. No, but a foul. And he's going to go to the line for two shots now. A chance to get the green wave back to within a point. And Mashan will pick up another foul. I think that's two on him so far yep. here tonight. Good opportunity here for the wave. They get two here, they're only down a point. Hineski is going to come in presumably for Mashan and he'll be running the point. All right, first of two is up, it is good. Makes it 21-19. Hineski in, Mashan out for the Hawks. Now one more and we get yourself a one point game here. Greenfield at one point here tonight, trailed 14 to six. Second freebie is good. 21-20 Frontier, shot clock off, 25 seconds to play here in the first half. Hineski walks it across the timeline right. Picked up by Gibson. Now he takes it to the head of the circle. Angles to the right, on the wing, it's Hoffman, back top of the key, Hineski. Down to 10 seconds, Hineski. Right side, Robinson, down to seven. Boudreaux, right corner, down to three. Comes through, Hoffman, fade away, Jay. No good at the buzzer. Halftime here at Nichols Gym Greenfield High School on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. It's the Frontier Red Hawks 21, the Greenfield Green Wave 20. The Bear Country High School Basketball Halftime Report coming up next. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Arista. Arista Networks pioneered software-driven cognitive cloud networking for large-scale data center and campuses. Arista.com Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Bear Country High School Basketball Halftime Report. Nichols Gym, huge crowd, two of the top teams in the region. We'll get ourselves a one-point game at halftime. Frontier 21, Greenfield 20. Jeff Terrell and Bobby C., our studio producer, is Dave Reno. Great start for the Red Hawks. A little bit of a run for Greenfield, but Frontier started to kind of pull away a little bit right at the end of the first quarter, but... In the second quarter, Greenfield ends up outscoring Frontier 14 to seven. And again, a one point game at intermission. Well, you know, if you really thought about Greenfield being down, you know, by eight points at one time and be able to sort of claw themselves back into it, they've done a wonderful job. And you know what else they did too? They started to make a couple of adjustments and being able to get the ball a little bit better down low, being able to get guys to set some screens. And I think that's worked out pretty well for them. And they were also able to get some offensive rebounds too. And they've been able to shut down a Frontier team that really went cold in that second quarter as far as shooting. But in that first quarter, let's take it back to the first quarter when Frontier was pretty much dominant. And again, what, what were we saying at the top of the show during the pregame show? The contributions from the Frontier bench, in this case, Ian Spirits. I mean, he was a pest. He did a great job in those first eight minutes. You know, if I'm literally looking at what's going on right now, I'm saying to myself, guards have been the reason why this game is the way it is. You look at David Carey, you look at Gibby, the two guys that have been able to do it for Greenfield. You look at Spirits on what he's been able to do in Frontier. Really, you think about it, it's been those guys that have been able to dictate what's going on in this game. The three guards are really affecting what is happening right now. It's not really about the big guys like we would think it is. And for Greenfield, they need more diversified offense. They're relying too much on just two guys. They are. As a matter of fact, right now they're in a situation where Mason Meadows has 10, but also Carey has 10. Nobody else has been able to put the ball in the bucket here for the Green Wave. All right, second half, look for Zwart and, uh, and then Mav Ward to potentially step up. That would certainly enhance Greenfield's chances of getting the win. All right, we'll take a timeout here in our halftime report. 21-20 Frontier. At halftime, back after this on Bear Country 95.3. Well, Bobby, as we get set for the start of the second half here, our colleague, Chris Collins, he likes to say these, these tightly fought games, he likes to say, oh, it was a real rock fight. And at times in the first half, yeah, it definitely felt like a rock fight. These teams are going for it. It's interesting because 
these teams have already punched their postseason ticket, but they're playing as if if they lose this game tonight, their season might be over. And you mentioned at the top of the broadcast, if Greenfield loses, not the end of their season, but they could be slipping in the seedings going on the road, and they'd have a much tougher road to hoe. So they really need this one. Absolutely. And on the other end of things, if you're Frontier, you're looking to try to seal that four seed, which I think is probably where they're going to be. Yeah. I looked at all the other teams that are in that division, yep. and I think that if they win tonight, they pretty much seal that four seed. So big game right here tonight for both teams. And boy, what a good one we got, Jeff, at 21-20. All right, Frontier will be moving to the basket on our left. Greenfield from left to right. 16 minutes at least of basketball remain here at Nichols Gym. And Frontier will have the ball. Robinson will inbound to Haneski, who will begin the second half at point guard. Wachowicz in a high post. Has at the foul line, kicks it left side to Haneski, back to Owen, top of the key. Finds a little bit of space, comes through, and the tip followed by Boudreaux is in. Yeah, he's done a nice job. He's been all over the place down low. You know, Colin Boudreaux, those are his first two points, but I'll tell you what, a lot of assists in that first half. 23-21, uh, 23-20 rather, in favor of Frontier. They go to Brewington, muscles his way through, just couldn't get it to fall, but a good job there by Julius. Got to use the box. Got to use the box. On the right side, Robinson to the corner. Nearly a steal by Kiri. He's at four of them. And passes left side. And Hoffman misses on the left baseline. Ball goes out of bounds off of Meadows. It'll stay with Frontier. Yep, they're going to call that one off of Mason. So. Kineski will inbound on the baseline right. The one thing you don't want to do is have a Frontier player cut to the hole. And they get it in, pass batted down by Carey. He's not the tallest kid, but just seems to know where the ball's going all the time. So athletic. Boudreaux passes to Hoffman, batted down. And Wachowicz gets it, wraparound pass to Hoffman, muscles his way through, puts up kind of a tough angle shot, no good. Boudreaux had it, loses it, picks it back up, shot clock down the nine, he turns, shoots, misses. Offensive rebound, Wachowicz finally in the hands of Zwart, and a reaching foul called against Frontier. And they'll get Wachowicz on that one. Yep. That's you know what that was? That was, a, that was more of a frustration foul than anything, Jeff. Yep. Knowing that he should have had that ball. Looks like he got hit in the eye. Yeah. Owen uh, checking his hands for blood. We're good to go. 6.43 to play here, third quarter. Frontier by three. Zwart has it on the right wing. Gets it down the Bruinton. Comes all the way through, lays it up and in. See, that's called using your body right there. That was all him using his body to be able to get that easy opportunity for a layup. Frontier 23, Greenfield 22. Six and a half to play, third quarter. Right baseline jumper, no good by Hoffman. Rebound, Brinkton. Greenfield looks to run. There comes David Carey. And a behind the back pass to Meadows. And it ends up in the hands of Robinson. An unnecessary pass that time. Totally. By Greenfield. Especially when you're only down one. Haneski from the foul line. Gets it to Boudreaux, top of the key. Dumps it down low. Walk away. Kicks it right side to Hoffman. Back top of the key, Hineski for three, no good. Zwart the rebound for Greenfield, he'll take it across. Left side, Carey puts his feet down for three, too strong, no good. Weak side rebound by Robinson. 6.45, uh, rather 5.45 to play third quarter. Frontier by one, Robinson for three, yes! Oh, big shot right there, all of a sudden Frontier opens up a four point lead. Carey runs it up quickly, nearly dragged his pivot foot, but instead a foul called against Frontier. Not a lot of contact there, but they're going to get Haneski on the personal foul there. Two yeah. team fouls this half against Frontier. Well, Greenfield, they seem to do much better as we talked about, Jeff, in transition. As Frontier really playing lockdown defense, nearly a steal by Robinson, kind of a lazy pass from Zwart to Ward. And the freshman, as good of a year as he has had, Mav has been very invisible so far. He's going to come off right now. Yeah. He's been replaced uh, by Sam Gibson. And Angelo is going to go and talk to him about what he needs to do once he gets back out. He's hanging his head just a little bit. But again, fine year, not just for a freshman, fine year for anybody. Ball tipped out of bounds. As Greenfield's having trouble getting it to their guys without Frontier tipping it away. I mean, Frontier no. is just really locking down here. Well, I'll tell you right now, Boudreau, he's been everywhere. He's only scored a couple points, but he's been everywhere. They get it in the Meadows, bakes it in, and this time they're going to get Colin on the foul. Yep, a little bit lazy on that back end right there. 
I honestly thought that he thought Donovan Hoffman was going to be able to take Meadows, and he just sort of let him go. And Meadows got the easy deuce. Yeah, you have to trust your teammates. You have to communicate. Free throw is good. Three-point play by Mason Meadows. Greenfield now back to within a point. It's 26-25 as we come down to the five-minute mark here in the third quarter. Paneski, top of the key. Goes deep on the left side to Hoppen. They jump out on him. Back to Walkowitz. Right side it goes to Robinson. He'll drive right baseline. Left side to Hoffman. Donovan drives all the way through it. Rims out no good. Boudreau the put back. Got it. I'm telling you, Colin Boudreau, he has been everywhere down low. 28-25. Frontier by three. Mason Meadows tried to pass the paint to Brewington. They're looking at each other. Miscommunication. Hesse comes back. Over the right side, Robinson's gonna take another three. That one's off the rim, no good. Tipped out deep to Hoffman, new shot clock for the Hawks. Paneski slows it down, Hoffman left side in. NBA three is no good, and the rebound comes to Haneski. Too many offensive rebounds right now for Frontier. Haneski from the foul line, gets over to Wachowicz, foul line right, jumper, back rim, no good. Mason Meadows clears the board. On the right side, it's Gibson. Gibson waits for his teammates to catch up. Takes it top of the key. Left side, Carey. Gives up the three. Comes in. Puts it up. Rejected by Wachowicz. Clean block on the right side. Here comes Hoffman. Swoops all the way through. Offensive foul. That was Drawn a great call. nicely by Gibson. Well, he pulled that shoulder way down when he came flying through. You can't do that. Hoffman out. Richter in for the Red Hawks. They lead by three. Halfway through the third quarter, low scoring game here tonight. Both of these teams can really score, but not the case tonight. Both teams have played very well defensively. Left corner, Zwart's gonna launch for three. That shot is no good, one and done for the Wave. Rebound taken down by Boudreaux. Haneski will take it across the timeline. Head of the circle, angling towards the right. Cross score pass left side to Robinson, back to Haneski. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Wachowicz deep on the right, skip pass left side. Robinson, top of the key, Haneski goes through the paint. The floater no good. Rebound tipped out of bounds. And it's going to stay with Frontier. Meadows in for Greenfield, in for Frontier is Gabe Jones-Thompson. And here comes Mav Ward back into the Green Wave lineup, replacing Kenny Adams. You know, Coach, Angelo Thomas sat down and had a little chat with Mav about where his positioning needs to be. We'll see if he made that adjustment. Haneski throws it in, and a pass, kind of a lazy pass, also defended well by Henry Zwar. It goes out of bounds. Greenfield ball with a chance to get to within one or tie if they can make a tray here. David Carey in the backcourt. Over to Gibson. He'll take it into the front court right. Has it on the wing. Stops there. Cross court pass to Carey. Fakes the pass, drives the lane, puts it up. No good, but a foul. Oh, and he went down hard, hit the back of his head. He's okay. Helped up by his teammate Mason, Mason Meadows, but he smacked the back of his head there. Oh, he's and all right. Fortunately, he is okay. He hit it hard. He's a and tough kid, man. Andy Rogers checking, make sure that he is okay. And now the lead official here, veteran Jerry Burgess, will check on him. Yeah, he's shaking his head that he's okay. That's good. Maybe yeah. they're asking a couple of questions to him about what's going on here too, you do, know? Do you know where you are? Yeah, no, really, I mean, <laughs> yeah. they probably, yep, they're, they're asking the questions here, good. That's why they're good officials, brother. Yeah, really good crew here. Absolutely. Tonight. Three man crew for this one. And Kerry, yeah, he's still kind of shaking his head and his neck around, but he yeah. looks like he's okay. Two free throws coming up here for him. And the first one is up and it is short, and he let that go really weird. Yeah. He, it, it, was that just me, Bobby? Did you see how he yeah, let it go? He, he just, yeah, it just, it, it no like arc on it. No just kinda, arc at all. Just kind of flung it up there. And let's see this one now. A little better. bit better that time. In and out, no good. Tipped up, no good. Meadows trying to tip it to himself. Couldn't get it. By the way, five team fouls this half against Frontier, zero against Greenfield. Paneski, top of the key, calls the set play, guarded by Gibson. Left side, and Richter's gonna take a three. In and out, no good. Meadows runs down the loose ball. 2.50 to play here, third quarter, Frontier by three, 28-25. Three-point bomb put up by Mav Ward, no good. Zwart tried to get the rebound out of bounds, back to the Red Hawks. Yeah. And we're gonna get a timeout here? No, we're gonna get Mashawn back into the game for Haneski, 
The two backup point guards, Spirance and Haneski, have done a fine job when Michonne was having a tough time in this game. Robinson runs it up quickly on the right. Brett stops on the wing, pulls it back at the top of the key to Michonne. Ethan holds it on his hip, puts it to the floor now. Gets it, foul line left to Walkowitz, guarded by Ward. Walkowitz comes in, foul before the shot on the floor, it's called against Mav Ward. You know what happened there is he ended up getting burned and he ended up making the foul because he was getting burned going to the hole. That was honestly a good foul because it was only the first team foul. Brett Robinson out and B-Rob is replaced by Donovan Hoffman. Ethan Michon having trouble getting it in. He calls a timeout rather than turn it over. And Ben Barashevsky says, good job. He points to his head. He said, you were using your head. Good job. We'll take the break. 2.32 to play. Third quarter, Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. Frontier 28, Greenfield 25 on Bear Country. Tonight's game brought to you by Kira Soil, Galensky Landscaping, and by CarQuest of Greenfield, South Deerfield, and Shelburne. Late third quarter. And in this quarter, Frontier has scored seven points. Greenfield has scored only five. We're still in the 20s, both teams, with 2.32 to play in the third. It has not been an offensive show tonight. And now a pass thrown away by Frontier. Again, a miscommunication. We've seen it both sides. Greenfield basketball. Yeah, but one thing that's frustrating to a coach is when you end up having a turnover out of a timeout, Jeff. Yep. David Carey passes, knocked down. Gibson gets it at the center court circle, takes it right wing. Henry Zwart holds there. It's it back to Gibson, back to Zwart on the wing. 15 to shoot. They try to get it down to Ward. Coming through, muscling his way through, traveling. And I'm sorry, that was not Ward, it was uh, Kenny Adams. Yeah, he totally traveled. 2.08 to play here, third quarter. Frontier continues to lead by three. Donovan Hoppin, he'll take it across himself, stops on the left wing, guarded by Carey. Last score pass to Michon on the right, guarded by Gibson. 20 to shoot, 156 game clock. Ethan Michon in amongst the timber, puts it in. Yeah, nice take right there by little, the little guy. Little curl in the paint, got it to go. 30 to 25, Frontier back by five. Their biggest lead was eight at 14-6. Greenfield has had a one point lead. Zwart all by himself, right side. Jones Thompson though comes through. Tipped out of bounds, it is off of Zwart. Nice interior D by the Hawks. They've been doing it all night. Zwart out, Ward in for Greenfield. I'm telling you right now, turnovers are gonna hurt you. That one hurt Greenfield right there. Hoffman in the backcourt. Takes it across on Carey. Has it on the right wing, stops there. Wraparound pass nearly stolen by Greenfield. They get it back though, Walkowitz deep on the right side. Hands to Hoffman, on the wing, top of the key, Mashon. Mashon's gonna take it in again, goes up with the left hand, in and out, no good. Rebound taken down by Meadows, stolen right back by Mashon, puts it up, no good, but a foul on Mason Meadows. Mason never saw, never saw Mashon right behind him. Yeah, but there was a Greenfield kid that was right behind him and he never said nothing. You gotta communicate with your players. You gotta speak. That's the thing, boy, I'll tell you. Again, I've been reading a lot of really good basketball books lately, Bobby, and uh, you know, these coaches, they say the same thing all the time. You, you, you should be talking all the time out there. Absolutely. All the time. First free throw is good by Michonne. Ethan will get one more. It is good, 32-27, the lead up to seven now. And Greenfield has not scored for a while since the, uh, uh, it's, it's been two minutes of game time. Well, more than two minutes now, Gibson. In the paint, comes through, rejected by Richter. Picked back up by Greenfield, and a foul called as Adams had it poked away. And who'd they get there, Bob? Michonne, that'll be three. Three on Ethan, and it's probably going to get, um, Ben Barshevsky's looking down his bench. We have a timeout called by Greenfield. We'll take the break. 59.7 seconds left here, third quarter. Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, Frontier by seven. 32-25, back after this on Bear Country 95.3. So just under a minute to play here in the third. It'll be Frontier Basketball. They lead by seven as Greenfield's offense has just completely hit the skids here right now. They're looking for someone to step up here, Bobby. Exactly, and right now you don't want to let Frontier walk away with this quarter and then go into the fourth quarter down by eight or nine. 
you want to be able to dig into this seven point lead right now. Gibson inbounds the ball to Ward, has it deep on the left side. Top of the key, Carey, he's going to take a three. That's off the back rim, no good. And a lot of one and duns for Greenfield. No rebounding down low. Hineski, he'll take it across on the right. 45 seconds left in the third, Frontier by seven. A make here, they'll have their biggest lead of the night. Richter in the foul line. Gets it to Jones Thompson, left side Wachowicz. He'll go baseline, sealed off by Meadows. Double team there, tried to feed the paint, tipped away by Adams. Kenny taking it across. Passes down low to Gibson, just kind of flung it up there and it fell. Well, hey, whatever works. Good hustle though there by Sam Gibson. Frontier by five, 32-27, shot clock off. 18 seconds left in the quarter. Hineski, top of the nearly a steal. By Carey again, Donovan Hoffman right side, 13 seconds left in the quarter. Now they go to Hineski, directing traffic, six seconds left, they double team him. Down low, Wachowicz, they went for the overplay, and Wachowicz had a clear lane to the bucket, and he hits. And that's how the third quarter will end. End of three here at Nichols Gym in Greenfield. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it's Frontier 34, Greenfield 27. This is Bear Country 95.3. In that third quarter, Frontier outscores Greenfield by a tally of 13 to seven and they lead now by seven at 34 to 27 after taking a one point lead at halftime. And in Greenfield's problem, definitely not defense. Offense, they're just not doing it, not getting it done. Missing a lot of shots and they've had a lot of good open looks too. They're just not getting anything to fall. And right now, you're down seven. You do have the ball though, that's a good sign. And they're not getting offensive rebounding. When they're, you know, high school kids don't shoot 60% from the floor or even 50%, but they're not getting uh, the easy putbacks either. It's a lot of one and done. Deep on the left side, it's David Carey has it on the wing. They get it down low, Meadows no good. Brewington goes up strong, got it. Now there you go, that is when Greenfield did do a nice job on getting the rebound. 34-29, Frontier by five. Haneski at the center court circle. Foul line left, stops there. Bounce pass over to Wachowicz. Back to Haneski on the wing. Shot clock at 15. Haneski, right side to Richter. Sean Richter gets it left side. Haneski, shot clock down to 10. Wachowicz, foul line left. Donovan Hoffman, top of the key. Takes it in, kicks it right side. Richter's gonna take a three. That shot is no good. Boynton clears the board. Opportunity for Greenfield to get back a little bit closer. Gibson. Takes it across, David Carey, left side. Now they go on the right wing. Here comes Mav Ward going baseline, sealed off by Richter. Gibson, shuffle pass back to David Carey, a little crossover. Left side, it goes to Gibson. He'll go baseline, looking for the cutter. Thrown away though, squander by the wave. Frontier continues to lead by five. Haneski, right side, Hoffman gives up the three, takes it in, reverse lane is no good, tipped around. And it's out of bounds. It's off of Mason Meadows. No, no they it is got going it to be. Wachowicz. Yeah, it is going to be Greenfield basketball here. Zwart will check in. Sitting down will be Ward. They have really done a nice job shutting down Mav Ward here tonight. Every time he gets the ball, he's they're, they're sealing him every time. He's got nowhere to go. Yeah, his production has slowed up a bit here in the second half. Early in the year, I mean, he was getting it done. Top of the key, three ball, Carey is good. It's a two-point game. Big shot right there, David Carey. He has been the star of Greenfield here tonight. 5-0 run by the Wave to open the fourth quarter. We got a ball game here. They dump it down low, coming through. Jones Thompson blocked the way up, but a foul on the Greenfield players. Brinkton and Meadows saying, what's going on? But they got the foul call down low. Wow. That looked pretty clean. And that may have been against Jay Brew. The only thing I can think of is it had to be body, Jeff, because yeah. they both had their hands way up. Jones Thompson first free throw is good. That makes it a three-point Red Hawk lead, 35-32. He'll get one more here. Angelo Thomas talking to Greg Polana over near the bench. Colin Boudreaux will come in for the Hawks, and Wachowicz gets a nice hand as he checks out. I mean, the only thing I could think of in that last play was, was body, but you and I, we can't see it this far down. Second free throw is good for Jones Thompson. Frontier now back up by four, 36-32, 6-12 to play here in the fourth quarter. Some backcourt pressure by the Hawks, not trapping though. Greenfield breaks it easily. Gibson has it, head of the circle. Right side pass to Carey, right corner to Zwart. Takes the three, takes it in, double team. Somebody's gonna be open, tipped away. Nice play by Richter. Gets it over, Jones Thompson. 
Takes it through, kind of flings it up there, no good. Boudreaux, the tip follow, no, did it again, it's good. And what a play right there by Colin Boudreaux. And now, Frontier's gonna lead by six, a little over aggression, and a foul is called, and I think they got Mashon again. That'll be four. That's four, yeah. Yeah, it's and four coach, on Ethan. And Coach Ben's going, gotta put your hands up, bud. Yeah. And that's gonna get Ian Spirits, who did a great job in that first quarter. Very athletic, very quick, very pesky type kid. Little vertically challenged, but that's okay. Greenfield's gotta make free throws. Free throw is up and good. Makes very it 38-33, one more coming up for David Carey. The reason why I wanna say these are important, Jeff, they are now free throws the rest of the way. That's right. This is a big deal right now for Greenfield. Second free throw, that is good. Frontier 38, Greenfield 34. Now Greenfield put on some backcourt pressure. Again, not trapping, just trying to make it a little tougher. Hoffman and nearly a strip steal by Carey, but they're gonna get him on a reach in foul call. Now that's four on the wave, so they still got two more to waste here. 5.40 to play in regulation. Frontier with the ball, they lead by four. They also have the arrow. By the way, they inbound the ball to Jones Thompson. Gabe puts it to the floor, gets it on over to Hoppin on the way. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Frontier looking to extend upon a four point lead. On the right side, Spirits gets it ready to Boudreaux. He'll take a 17 footer. That is no good, tipped around, out of bounds. It goes to Greenfield. Well, an opportunity right there, almost had that Richter. He just came just a little short of getting that rebound. Greenfield's now got a chance to cut back into this thing here. David Carey, deep on the right side. He'll run it up, double team, gets it over to Mason Meadows. Quick kick, left side, it goes to Gibson. Gibby, top of the key, Carey, 4-3. That's an air ball, uh, Mavor there to put it up and in. Oh, we got a two point game. And Mavor says, yeah, I'm here, I'm playing tonight. Don't sleep on me, or do so at your own risk. Oh, Spirits nearly dribbled the ball into his own backcourt as he lost control of it briefly. Boudreaux on the right side, feeds the lane, all by himself, Jones Thompson puts it up and in. That's just a nice job right there by Boudreaux to find the open look. 40 to 36, here comes Ward. The leaner is good and the kid has stepped up big all of a oh, sudden. Oh, all of a sudden the guy who's been quiet for three and a half quarters, he's ready to play. We're halfway through the fourth quarter. Frontier by two. Spirits with Gibson tracking him. Spirits all the way through. Got it. Whoa! What a shot! High off the glass. Frontier by four. 42-38. Midway through the fourth. Carey gets it to Gibson, and it ends up in the backcourt as he threw it behind Sam Gibson, and Frontier will get the ball back. You know, those are the fundamentals right there. Timeout on the floor taken by Greenfield. 4.15 to play in regulation. On the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it's Frontier 42, Greenfield 38. Bear Country 95.3. Just about halfway through the fourth quarter, Frontier leading by four. They've had the better of it tonight. Greenfield though, I mean again, offensively, it hasn't really been there tonight for the most part, but they're sticking around. They are, and you know the, the, that last possession right there, they were going into a half court set. So they really, that was really a turnover that was really unnecessary, Jeff. And now they got to play defense now, down by four. Frontier comes out with Richter, Jones Thompson, Spirits, Boudreaux, and Donovan Hoffman. Spirits has it left wing. And between the circles now, it's Colin Boudreaux. On the right side, they go to Hoffman. Donovan Hoffman takes it, top of the key. Greenfield now is in a zone. Left side, Hoffman, bounce pass right corner to Jones Thompson. Shot clock down to 12. Now they tried to feed the lane, stolen by David Carey, fouled by Ian Spirits. And one and one. And again, if Greenfield can exploit that, the clock stops. You get potentially two free throws here. And then you can, if you make it, then you can D up. Exactly. It, this is like, this is like so in the favor of the wave. And you know what? Two more of these, now you go to double bonus, Jeff. All right, David Carey at the free throw line. He made, missed two a while ago after he hit, bonked his head off the floor right in the paint. He's had a great game though. David Carey, he really has shown his stuff here tonight. 
All right, front end of the one and one is up. It is good, 42-39. It's a one possession game, one more for David Carey. Shooting off to our right, Angelo Thomas and Ben Barshevsky both shouting instructions to their guys. Second free throw is good. 42-40, Frontier, 3.52 to play in regulation. Paneski in the front court, guarded by Brewington, traveling, great defense by Gibson and Brewington. Greenfield with a chance to tie or take the lead. Well, they both did a really nice job being able to tighten up there on the defensive end. Nowhere to go. That's just good D right there by Greenfield. 42-40 in favor of Frontier. Right side, it's Ward on the wing. Top of the key, Gibson. Gibson gets a screen, picks up the dribble, looking for help, gets it back, carry for three in the lead, around the rim and out. Meadows, the putback, rejected by Boudreaux. What Big, a play. Great block, and Frontier's lead is maintained. 42-40, Hawks, 320 to play. Hoffman, left side, feeds the paint, loose ball on the floor, battle for it, it comes down the Frontier. And we got to travel on Boudreaux. You know what he did is when he pulled that, when he pulled the ball back, he moved his feet at the same time. Wait, these two student sections <laughs> are, are really, this feels like a playoff game. Really does. Gibson in the backcourt, three minutes to play. Greenfield with the ball, they trail by two. Ward in the left corner. Puts it to the floor, looking for help. He's double teamed. All night long he's been doubled. David Carey threw a triple team. And try to get a shot away. It's blocked by Jones Thompson. Not a good offensive set there by the way. No, but that was good D though. 2.45 to play in regulation. Frontier with the ball. They lead by two. Hineski, top of the key. Left side pass Hoffman. Back to Hineski. They get it. Jones Thompson down low to Boudreaux. Goes up strong. Kicks it left side. 10 to shoot. And it's Donovan Hoffman. Double clutch shot is good. Wow, that was a really nice look. Honestly, Boudreaux probably could have took that himself, but instead, he dished it off to Hoffman. Ward's gonna come all the way through, banks it in. Oh, what a move right there. Mav Ward, all of a sudden, he's shown up here in the fourth quarter. 44-42, Frontier by two. 2.12 to play in the fourth quarter. Boudreaux, foul line, down low. Jones Thompson, the leaner, no good, loose ball. Jones Thompson beat Meadows to it. And a timeout called by Frontier. We'll step aside. 2.03 to play in the fourth quarter on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. It's Frontier 44, Greenfield 42 on your country, 95.3. With the crowd noise here, we may, know, we may uh, need to go see Lisa and get our hearing restored. This crowd <laughs> is loud, Bobby. What a great atmosphere here tonight. You know, this has been the talk of the week, though, about these two teams getting together. And hey. Everybody got their money's worth so far with two minutes left, only a two point game. Yeah. Anything can happen. We could even be going a little extra, who knows? Would not be surprised if that was the uh, scenario. All right, Frontier will inbound the ball right in front of their own bench. Hoffman will throw in. And finally does get it into Jones Thompson, back to Hoffman. Two minutes to play, Frontier by two. Hoffman gets a screen, little pick and roll down the Boudreaux, banks it in, beautifully run. That was beautiful. You know what, coming out of a timeout, that is what every coach is looking for. 46-42, Frontier now by four. Greenfield, can they get all the way up the mountain? Bruinton, double team, stripped on the way up out of bounds. It'll stay with the Green Wave, 16 seconds to shoot. Gibson will inbound, just off to our right. It's the ball from Andy Rogers. And having some trouble, and it's tipped around. It comes down the ward. Greenfield nearly lost possession. Shot clock down to 10. Carey turns, shoots a three. Rims out, no good. Brewington tries to save it. Dust to Meadows. Blocked, go by Boudreaux. Another great defensive play by Collin. That kid has been unbelievable tonight. And now Frontier is going to look for the dagger here. They lead by four with a minute 15 to play. A big bucket here, and they'll be in very good shape. Boudreaux looking. Passes to Jones Thompson, back to Boudreaux from the foul line, down low through the hands of Jones Thompson, out of bounds, Greenfield ball, 105 to play, Frontier by four, and by the way, the possession arrow favors Greenfield, uh, Frontier here, by the way. And I'll tell you what, walked up to Boudreaux and said, that was my bad, man, I should have had that. 
Left side, Mason Meadows. They get it over to Gibson, right corner. Ward for three, good! Oh, Matt Ward, he has shown up in the fourth quarter. It's a one point game, 46-45 Frontier, 45 seconds left to play in the game. Paneski, deep on the left. Greenfield has some fouls to give, by the way. Keep that in mind. Hoffman goes left, baseline blocked by Meadows out of bounds. Frontier will keep it, 16 to shoot. And we got a timeout called by Greenfield. 34.8 seconds left in regulation. Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, Frontier 46, Greenfield 45, Bear Country 95.3. And after the game, one of these young student athletes is going to get the Helena Chemical High School Basketball Player of the Game t-shirt. It's on the, it's on our broadcast table right in front of us. And ooh, I have no idea who we're giving it to. We have to figure out who's gonna win the darn game because <laughs> Greenfield will not go away here, Bobby. That was a huge three by the freshman, Maverick Ward. Can I bring something up to you? Mav Ward has got nine points here in the fourth quarter. He was so quiet the rest of the game, and he's got nine. Hardly any touches when he yeah. got it. It seemed like he didn't really know what to do with it. He knows what to do with it oh, now. Oh, yeah, baby. Here we go. All right, Frontier with 16 to shoot. They lead by one slender point. Hoffman throws it out to Boudreaux. Collin hands to Haneski. Shot clock at 12. Richter, left side. Hoffman for three. It is no good. Rebound taken down by Meadow. Shot clock is off. David Carey back. Greenfield trails by one. 20 seconds left. Carey, left wing, top of the key. Right side it goes to Ward, 12 seconds left. It's Gibson, drives the lane, stripped on the way up out of bounds. It'll stay with Greenfield with 7.6 seconds left. With Frontier leading by one, and Thomas calls timeout for Greenfield. We're gonna keep it right here because there's too much to talk about. <laughs> Let's do the game reset, Bobby. 7.6 seconds left, Frontier 46. Greenfield 45, it'll be Green Wave's ball. And the possession, if there's a hell ball, it'll go to Frontier. There are 18 fouls on Frontier, so even if they foul, which I can't imagine they're gonna do, it would still be one one not two. So that's pretty critical. Well, let me tell you right now, what it comes down to is, is being able to get that open look. If you notice the last couple of times, Greenfield's taken the ball out from underneath. They've almost got the ball stripped almost every time. They got to be very careful on the inbounds, and I think that's what Angelo Thomas is talking about right yeah. now. Yeah, and you, you know what? You got to do a good job, and you got to get a guy like Jay Brew to set a pick so that you can get one of your guys. Like if Meadows is able to literally being able to go to the hole, he's so tall he could be able to get an easy layup. Then you got to play defense and hope that Frontier doesn't score, and you could walk away with a one-point win. There's a lot of stuff that could happen right now. A lot of variables at play here, but the bottom line is this. Greenfield with the ball with 7.6 seconds left. Trailing by one. Gibson will inbound, baseline left. Greenfield will come out of a stack. Frontier set the D up one more time. Gibson looking to throw in. And it's tipped away, just what you talked about, and a foul on Mason Meadows. He fouls Richter, who will be, that was the fifth team foul, so it's a frontier possession. Yeah, and you know what? You only got six seconds left. And is Meadows bleeding? Yes, he's bleeding. And that's going to add to Greenfield's frustration. He can't play while he's bleeding. He, yeah, he, has, he has to come off. Yep. It's just what you said, Bobby. Greenfield was having a lot of problems inbounding the ball. It ended up getting tipped to Richter. He got fouled immediately by Meadows. And here's the thing with Greenfield. That was the fifth foul. Frontier is going to inbound the ball. As long as they can do that cleanly, Greenfield will foul, but they're going to lose a lot of clock. Absolutely. And what are you going to do now? You're looking for the guy, to, you're looking for the guy that's going to be able to set a pick and get the other guy that's going to run down the court. You want to be able to throw the pass down that end of the court because you want to give Greenfield not any time to be able to come back and shoot that ball. So if I'm Frontier, I'm going to set two double screens and I'm going to have a guy do a home run throw right down to the other side. I'm telling you right now, I'd run a double screen right yeah, now. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see what they come out with. Right now, they're cleaning up the blood on the court. What is it about these Greenfield games? The last two Greenfield games I've done have been the bloodiest games I have seen ever. Right. Mason Meadows, they drew blood on Mason. He can't play if you're no. Nope. If you have uh, if you have blood that's been drawn, you have to stem the flow of the blood, or you cannot play. And that's what happened to uh, to Jake Sack at Greenfield. Did not play tonight as he broke his nose. 
in that Athol game, that loss to the uh, Red Raiders last week. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, that was a really, really sloppy entry pass right there that did not go well for the Wave. And now they're in a really tough spot. They're in a tough spot. Oh, and, they really are. And this is a case where, you know, Greenfield really wishes at this point that they already had 17 fouls. I know it. Send them to the line immediately. Frontier, if they play this right, Bobby, again, they'll be able to uh, kill most of the remainder of the clock here. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm, I'm running a double screen, and I'm going to do a home run pass. Or what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a guy go to the far corner of the court where, where these guys are all right here by where it's going to be by the scoreboard. So we're trying to explain this to you folks. So almost at midcourt, if they can get a double screen and get a guy to go out off to the other side of the court on midcourt, that's going to be able to take a lot of time away and be able to really help Frontier. We'll have to see what they're going to do on the entry pass. But even the Red Hawks have to be true on that pass. Oh, because absolutely. If, if they do go for a home run pass from the baseline, it goes out of bounds. It goes back it to goes, the baseline, It goes right? all the way yep, back. It goes back, and exactly. And Greenfield would be inbounding the ball right near the basket they're shooting at. So. Correct, yep. All right, it looks like we're set to go now. And Jones-Thompson will inbound for Frontier. Greenfield obviously will go for the steal. And if not that, the quick foul. Mason Meadows now back coming to his bench. Jones Thompson inbounds. They get it in quickly to Robinson. 5.4 seconds left. That was the sixth team foul. So one more, and then we'll finally be into the one and one, but only 5.4 seconds left. Again, Frontier leads by one, 46-45. In to Robinson, they foul quickly. All right, now we're shooting one and one, 4.3 seconds left. Even if he makes two, That'll make it a three-point game, and Greenfield, if they can somehow get down court for a desperation three to tie, that's their only hope. Or do you or do you take the chance and foul with the one and one if you're Ben Barshevsky? That's true, and yeah. And then it's only two points. There's the, I'm telling you right now, I'd probably foul. I if I make both these, foul. I'm going to tell my kids to foul. It's one and one. 4.3 seconds left. Front of the one and one is up. No good. Battle for the rebound. And that's going to expire the clock right there. Frontier wins it, 46 to 45. There was a mad scramble for the rebound. Neither team could get their mitts on it. And Frontier was able to kill the clock right there. What a game here tonight. Frontier wins it by a final score of 46 to 45. We'll take our final timeout. The Bear Country High School Basketball Post Game Report coming up next. Bear Country 95.3. Bear Country High School basketball post game report. What a ball game here tonight. Frontier comes to Greenfield. They beat the Greenway by one, 46 to 45. They end up running the table in the Hampshire League this year at 8 0. And they sweep the season series from a very good Greenfield team. And that's the thing Greenfield is a very good team, but Frontier's just better at this point. And they made the plays. The Red Hawks made the plays down the stretch. Greenfield did not. They really did. And, you know, you got to look at really what were the keys to some of these things that hurt Greenfield down the stretch. You're in a half set offense and you end up with an over and back. You had two entry passes from underneath the basket that ended up being turnovers that cost you a couple of opportunities down low. You also were in a situation where you, all you had to do was get a rebound. You had four seconds left in the game. You had an opportunity to be able to literally win the game because they didn't make those free throws. You look back at it and you say to yourself, the old woulda, coulda, shoulda. Yep. <laughs> it unfortunately is what happened to Greenfield here tonight. And it's funny because Frontier, uh, for a team now that, listen, they're 15 and three. You have two more games next week, uh, two very winnable games. One game which they will definitely win, I would have to say. Um, I mean, listen, they're going in to this postseason. You know, they're not gonna be a top seed. They're not gonna be one of the top two seeds, but I mean, they have all the ingredients for a very deep postseason run. It almost doesn't matter uh, where they're seated. Now, you know, they've done enough to make sure that they're high enough in the bracket where they have to feel good about where they're gonna land, I would think. Yeah. You know, when you look back at some of the key losses that hurt Greenfield, the loss to Athol hurt them, the loss to Pioneer hurt them. You look back at those losses and you say to yourself, man, if you add those extra two wins, even with the losses to Frontier, you're still sitting at an opportunity to get yourself a home game in the playoffs. Now, you gotta sort of sit and wait and see what the committee has to say. And 
the Athol Red Raiders are not sure. still are still happy tonight. Yeah. And I can guarantee you that all those fans that were listening to the game tonight that are from <laughs> Athol are going, all we got to do is win two. If we can go out and we can end up beating Smith Academy and we can go out and we can beat Mohawk, we are going to be second place in our division yep. and we're in. And they're in. And then once you're in, who knows? You never know. Who knows? Like they, you said, it all goes back to 0-0. Zero, goes zero. back to 0-0. Zero and zero. Yep. All right, so Frontier wins it here again. Final score, 46-45. We will reveal the hell on the chemical player of the game in a minute. We have great candidates for that, but first, Bobby will run the numbers. All right, for Greenfield here tonight, leading the way, and what a night he had. He had a great night on both ends. David Carey, 17 points, lots of steals, lots of great play. Mason Meadows ended up with 13. Mav Ward shows up in the fourth quarter with nine. Ends up with nine on the night. Julius Brewington, J. Brew with four. Sam Gibson with two. There's your 45 for Greenfield. Now for Frontier, leading the way with 10 was Owen Wachowicz. He also with eight points apiece was Gabe Jones Thompson and Colin Boudreau. Five points on the night goes to Donovan Hoffman. Four points from Sean Richter. Also four points from Ethan Machan and also from Ian Sparence. And three points for Brett Robinson. There you have it, 46-45. Frontier up by one at half. Well, they held on to that one-point lead all the way through and head back to South Deerfield with a victory. Time now to let you know who the hell on a chemical player of the game is. It will come from the winning team, Frontier, but first, talking about Greenfield, had the wave somehow been able to steal it. It certainly would have been David Carey. Again, as you mentioned, a oh, fine absolutely. effort. absolutely. And again, for freshman uh, Maverick Ward, really pretty much invisible for three quarters, nine fourth quarter points. We, we may have talked about him a little bit. Would have been David Carey if Greenfield had won it. Uh, Frontier, though, did get the win. A nice, diversified scoring. But the guy who came up with so many big blocks, when Greenfield actually was getting some offensive rebounds in that fourth quarter, the third quarter and fourth quarter, Colin Boudreau came, coming up playing outstanding post-defense. Not only that, but he also had some nice assists, too. If you really think about what he did tonight, he was able to pass the ball. He was able to shoot the ball. He was able to make steals. He was able to get tons of rebounds. He had blocks. Hey, man, you know the old saying, if you can do it all, you got a chance to be the player of the game. Colin Boudreau did it all here tonight for the Red Hawks. And Bobby, before we uh, wrap things up here, uh, just, let's just talk about Greenfield. Again, front, Frontier's sitting very pretty right now. Greenfield is in the postseason. What is their going to, what's going to be their path to, to postseason success? Because they look like a team that could be one and done. They look like a team where if they finally get it together, they could have an outside chant, chance of making it down to the cage. What, what's have, their path to victory? I have two things. You gotta get better at getting rebounds. That's one. Number two, when you get the open look down low, you have to finish, Jeff. You can't miss bunnies down low. Take advantage of the easy opportunities of the two point plays. And you gotta do a better job on the boards. I'm sorry, but when you got a guy as big as Meadows and you got guys like Jay Brew who got big body and very wide, guys like Mav Ward, these guys have got to be hungry. And when you go into playoffs, you got to come in totally hungry. And you know what? You can't rest on what you're just good at. You need to try to be able to do some of the things that you're not good at. And that's usually what gets you a win. All right, the regular season is finishing with a flourish. No question about that. One of the great games we've seen all season long. Frontier wins it. Final score one more time from Nichols Gymnasium on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. Frontier 46, Greenfield 45, Red Hawks go to 15 and three overall. Perfect in the league at 8-0. Greenfield drops to 11 and seven overall, four and three in the Hampshire League. For Bobby C and for Dave Reno, I'm Jeff Terrell. Thanks a lot for joining us tonight. Hope you enjoyed the broadcast and have a great night in Bear Country, everyone.